Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Hey, if you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Do with Do Dots and Designs, and I'm in my studio, and I'm getting ready to paint. And if you're catching this on the replay, and you're gonna know it's a replay because you won't see the little red live button up here, please come in and comment anyway. I'd love for you to join me today. So what I'm doing today is I have this Asian piece behind me. Let me scoot out of the way so you can see this. Hey, Lynn, hey, thanks for joining. If you see this piece, it's an Asian inspired piece. The lady that brought this to me to paint does not love the mother of pearl. That is the inlay that's in here. Hey, Melissa, thanks for joining. She doesn't like the mother of pearl at all. I know some of you out there, I've already got messages going, don't paint that piece, don't paint it. Guess what guys, it's getting painted. Customer wants it, that's what the customer gets. But before we even consider painting, we gotta prep, right? There's a whole lot of prep going on here because you got all this intricate detail that's gonna have to be cleaned really, really well. Good afternoon, Marie, thanks for joining me. It's gonna have to be cleaned really well. And I wanted to show you what I use to clean my furniture. I have used a lot of products in the past cleaning furniture because I've painted furniture for a long time. Hey, Heather, thanks for joining. And you know, I've used everything from soap and water, I have used Dawn dish detergent, I've used uh, uh, denatured alcohol and water, I've used vinegar and water, I've used all kinds of products. And they all seem to work really well, except for the amount of dirt and grime that comes off of them. A lot of times it'll look dirty and grimy and you wipe it down and you get a little dirt off and you're like, okay, it's clean, right? Okay, well, I have a product from Dixie Bell called White Lightning. Hi, Grace. Thanks for joining me from North Dakota. I hope you're a little cooler than we are because it's hotter in Hades down here. Woo! Hotter than who'd have thought it's what we call it in Texas. Let me show you the product that I'm using. And let me tell you why. This probably will be the last product that I use. Man, I hate to even say that because there's so many on the market, but this is so good. It is so good. It is called White Lightning Cleaner. Let me get this back to where you can see that. I know, I got a bad, bad glare here. I'm in the studio. I got all the lights off in this ring light is like ugh, amplifying everything it's called white lightning okay it is like a granulated crystal form you take it and you mix it in your water and this is what I do because I am I want everything super super easy I mix it in a plastic bottle in my spray bottle and I label it white lightning because you need to label your bottles because if you don't label them you don't know what's in them because you forget if you're like me you forget so you add this to your water and you shake it up and it's ready to go. All you need to do is clean your piece. Okay, let us let me show you. I also have a bottle of water, okay? Just plain water, nothing in it. There's no denatured alcohol or anything in here. It's just plain water. I'm gonna show you the difference between the white lightning and the water, okay? I use paper towels because I like quick and easy and I like to throw them away. I don't like to have to wash anything. I don't, you know, if you're an older lady like myself, seasoned, excuse me, we won't even say the O word. If you're seasoned like myself, you don't even want to do laundry anymore. Kids are grown, they're out of the house, right? We just want to paint and have fun. So use your paper towels and throw them away. They're cheap and easy. Go to the dollar store, buy them, okay? All right, take a couple of paper towels. I'm gonna use the water first, okay? Gonna use the water first. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I just got back from the beauty shop. I had her straighten it and do all that good stuff that they normally do. Okay. All right. So um, let's start. We'll start up here. Okay. This chest I actually sanded the top of it, and I'm gonna be staining that and then painting the lower half. So we're gonna use water first, and we're gonna spray over here, and then we're gonna wipe it off. And you're gonna see some dirt come off because you are, because it's a dirty piece, right? Okay. See the dirt? Okay, we're gonna wipe it again. We're gonna keep wiping it until it's clear, which will probably be a couple of times. Still dirty, okay? Keep wiping. This probably was in a smoker's home from the amount of stuff that I'm getting off of here, which means it really needs to be cleaned well, okay? Still dirty, but less. You see that? Not as much. And keep wiping until it is clean. Still a little better, a little better. The 
better. Okay, we're getting there. Hold on. I'm gonna keep wiping it until it is clean. And this is, I'm only using water. Okay. Almost clear, almost clear now. Let me do a couple more times. Notice how many times I've had to wipe this with water. That's too much work for me. I don't wanna do that. All right, it's clean. No more's coming off, okay? Let me show you. This is not clean. It is not clean with water. For one, it's an old piece. It has old stain on it and the varnish is kind of peeling. It is not peeling off, but it's kind of deteriorated. So it's kind of gotten down to the part where it's stained. That is gonna bleed through like nobody's business, but you wanna clean it first. And you can get a lot of the stuff off with the light, the white lightning. Okay, let's go back. We have white lightning in here. And that's the product that I just showed you. If you're just catching me, I'm going over a product that I use to help clean my furniture before I actually paint it. And that guarantees me a good finish and it's not gonna pop off. So let's go ahead and spray the white lightning on, okay? You got that, get your paper towel. Ooh, getting low on paper towels here. All right. Let's go over the same area that we did with the water. Look guys, look at all the nastiness that came off. If I had just used water and I had just did that and then I put my paint over that, more than likely that paint was not gonna stick well because it's dirty and dirt repels things. You want a very, very clean surface when you're painting your furniture. So I'm gonna go over again. Guess what? I think this one's gonna need a couple of different sprays of this to get it clean, clean enough that it's gonna stick. And also, you know, you've got to clean. I've got all this mother of pearl in here, which is a very slick surface. And we're gonna talk about how to paint over slick surfaces in just a bit. So hang tight and let me get this clean here. We're gonna clean this. All of this clean. It's still got stuff coming off, see? Not as much, but it's better. And it's gonna get better as you keep spraying it. Look, more towels down here, okay. This is an old, old piece and it's dirty. And if it's come from Asia, it's been shipped by to the United States. So who knows where it's been, right? But it is a pretty amazing piece. Okay. That is pretty good. Not bad at all, not bad at all. It looks pretty clean, okay? So this is the reason that I like to use the white lightning on my furniture. Hey, Linda from Michigan, thanks for joining me. Hey, Betty, thanks for joining. Yes, white lightning. It's a crystal form. You put it in your bottle with a little water and you shake it up. Now, with white lightning, it is a cleaner, remember? So if you're using this on your furniture, after you spray it and wipe it down, you need to go back and you need to spray it down again with water and then you need to wipe it off. Because it's a cleaner, you could have some residual leftover on your paint and you don't wanna do that. You wanna spray it down, wipe it clean, go back with water. Take your water bottle, spray it again, wipe it down. And these are all, you should be ready to go at that point. That's it. That's all you need for that. Now, let's talk a little bit, since we're in the prep phase, of this piece and I'm not going to paint it until I get it totally clean and get it totally prepped. We're going to go to a couple of different products and I'll tell you why I'm not just going to grab my paint and paint over the surface. There's a lot of paints out there that say, um, Tina says, can you buy this in Canada yet? Yes, ma'am. I believe you can. I believe you can, Miss Tina. I think they just started shipping to Canada. There is a link above. If you go back up to the top of this video, there's a link up there for your paint. And actually, I'll drop a link in here too if you want to go over and look at their products. You, I'll be happy to do that for you. 
but because these all these companies say this is a no prep paint you just paint it I'm here to debunk all of that because it's not true guys it's not true yes you may get away with it a couple of times but you're gonna come across a piece like this piece that has a red tint to it this stain is kind of a red and those are the worst for bleeding the very worst they need to be sealed they've got to be sealed I see Chris Donna on hey honey Chris Donna I'll tell you in a heartbeat yeah you better cover that stuff up or it's gonna bleed through it's gonna ruin your paint finish you need to do that there's a couple of different products that you can use I like to use something called the boss and how cool is that name right the boss I love it I like to use boss oh the glare again I'm so sorry guys here can you see that BOSS terrible lighting today BOSS right yes Chris Donna says prep 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 agreed totally agree the boss is a uh, blocks odors block stain stops bleed through okay especially if you've got this stain like this that's kind of got that red tint to it you better block it you better put something on it to cover it up before you paint it or it's gonna bleed through your surface boss comes in white and it also comes in clear so if you are getting ready to paint your piece and you want to distress it back to the wood use the clear boss because you can paint over that and it's clear and then when you wipe your paint back whether you wet distress or you sand and I prefer wet distressing and you can actually do that with Dixie Bell products you can wipe it back and it'll show the wood through it and you don't have to sand you don't have all that messiness you know even if you're painting in your house there's no reason you can't do this in your house you don't have to be in a studio like I'm in do it in your house right if you're not sanding and you're not putting any particles in the air and you're not breathing all that cancerous material back into you don't do it do your wet distressing okay now now that we have talked about cleaning and prepping and we've talked about uh, sealing the stain before you paint it let's talk about this overlay this talk or inlay excuse me let's talk about this mother of pearl if you could get a car about that had a phone call you would see that this is very very slick okay if you paint over that slick surface can you tell me what's gonna happen Pop a, pop a comment in here. If you, if you know what's gonna happen when you put chalk paint on top of a slick surface, pop it in here and let me know. I bet you do know already, because I, I know you guys are smart. You already know that. Well, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. It's not gonna stick. It has nothing, yes, Chris Donna says it's gonna chip or it's gonna peel. It has nothing, it has nothing there to grab a hold of. Even if I took it and sanded it, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be enough because it is slick. Mother of Pearl is a very, very hard surface. It's kind of like Formica and all those slick surfaces. You know, even tile, like your tile floors, you can actually paint those. So what I'm gonna use, after, uh, before I actually seal the wood, I'm gonna come back with this. It's called Slick Stick. Again, my lighting is terrible. We're gonna come back with a product called Slick Stick. What this Slick Stick does, yes, um, Slick stick bonds to glossy and other hard, shiny surfaces to allow effective painting. It gives some meat to it. It gives something that covers up all that slick stuff so that the paint will actually bond to it. Emma says, I'm new to this, but I have never wet distress. Can you explain how to do this? Absolutely. Absolutely, Emma. Not all paints can be wet distressed. I will let you know that first. A lot of your chalky base paints can, and I know that Dixie Bell can. Once you paint your surface with your chalky base paint and you don't want it to let it dry overnight because it's going to get super, super hard and it's going to be hard to come off because it is a super durable paint that doesn't even have to be sealed. But before it dries really, really hard, take a little wet sponge with a little scrubby side. You can take a washcloth. You can take whatever you want. Go back over your surface and wet it and then gently rub it where the paint is and some of that paint will peel back. It won't peel back, but it'll kind of slough off so you can actually see through it and it'll be the most prettiest distressing you've ever seen. It's just kind of like it fades, like somebody rubbed it and it just kind of wore it back. That's the look that you want with your wet distressing, right? Chris Donna says she painted with slick stick. Um, she painted glass with slick stick and then tried to scratch it with a screwdriver and it didn't scratch. Score, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I have heard people using slick stick. Oh, hello. Using slick stick to actually paint tile floors in their bathroom and then paint over them. And then of course you would have to have a really durable sealer, but it can be done. So I'm going to be using the slick stick 
over the mother of pearl and it's gonna cover all that shininess up and it's gonna give them something to grab to. So that's what I'm gonna do before I actually get into painting this. But I wanted to come on today and show you these products and just kinda, you know, not everybody paints every day like we do and I forget that. I forget because I've been painting for so long and a lot of the ladies that follow me paint too, but there's those of you out there who really have never, maybe even painted your first piece of furniture and you wanna do it yourself, right? You don't wanna go pay $800 for a piece of furniture that you can do yourself when you can get the products. It's super, super easy and simple. And it's, let me tell you ladies, if you've never painted your first piece, Kristana can agree with this, I'm sure. If she can relate to this, you paint your first piece it is the best feeling to say that you did it yourself. It's such a good feeling. And then when the people walk into your house, when your neighbors walk into their house or your family walks in and they see this new piece that you've got in there and they immediately are drawn to it because it's probably this beautiful color that you've picked out and they're going, I am so sorry. I got another phone call. Thank you for hanging with me. I'm sorry. But yeah, if somebody walks in and you've got your beautiful color and you're painted it yourself, you're so proud of it. It's like, I did that. I could do that. And then it becomes addictive. Let me warn you. I had to put a warning label on this. So anyway, I wanted to hop on and just share my afternoon with you and show you how you can paint your piece. Excuse me. You clean your piece before you paint it. It's super, super Im Im uh, important. And if you have any questions about any of the products I used today, please feel free to message me at any time. Okay, well, I'm going to go and get started on this piece and I will chat with you later. Thanks for joining me, guys. Chat soon.